back when I was new on SteamOS and didn't know how to do anything with it, uh, I remember wanting to mod Skyrim, so I searched up, you know, Skyrim mod Steam Deck, because Steam Deck uses uh, SteamOS. And the first video I saw was Alex, and I'm like, I've been following this guy for a long time. Uh, I've never seen this video. And I'm glad, because he does go through the steps very patiently, and it's, it's a cool video. You should check it out, and also check out his channel. He doesn't need my help. He's got freaking, you know thousands more than me you know subscribers and uh but he does gaming related stuff and uh so yeah i'm gonna do a pc version of installing mo2 on steam os so here we go all right open up your library and make sure you have skyrim installed if not go buy it get the special edition what you need next is the mo2 for linux so just type ML2 Linux and in GitHub, you're going to go in and this is the version. Click it and click the first one. Download it. Go to download and extract it in that same folder. And then you're going to delete all these folders once you're done installing it. For now, I'm just going to close it and come back later to it. Open up Discover now and type proton tricks install that now search for flat seal install it now launch it select proton tricks on allow make sure that everything is enabled scroll down file system all of these have to be enabled and then you can close it once skyrim gets done downloading run it one time so the proton tricks sees it and go to compatibility and make sure that it's running proton 9 all right since you're on a pc and not on a steam deck you got to put this command on the launch options. So far, the only games that needed this command in order to run properly on a PC has been Skyrim and Atomic Hard. They think that you're using a Steam Deck and they don't give you all the options that you normally have on a PC. And in Skyrim's case, this is the window that you don't get when the game thinks that you're using a Steam Deck. So let's put our quality and go inside the game. And I'll show you something else that you got to do. Now, I've only encountered this problem with Skyrim. Every other game, it, at least you can use your mouse and keyboard, even though the default is controller. You can disable it later. Uh, but Skyrim, for some reason, has the controller as the default when you're using a Steam OS because it thinks that you're using a Steam Deck. It's fine. I have no problem with that. But disabling the mouse and keyboard is kind of a bummer because some people like me, I don't have a controller. I actually had to buy a controller, a cheap controller, Logitech. You know, I'm not going to buy a expensive controller, but I got the job done that, that way. So if you don't have a controller, you got to get one to do this. Uh, once you're done downloading all this stuff, I'll show you how it's done. All right. As you can see, there's no mouse, and the only way I can navigate pretty much is with the arrow keys up and down, stuff like that. Very limited. I'm going to hit continue and go inside the game. All right, so check this out. Open your eyes because this is going to require a lot of skill. Carefully open the menu. Go into settings. Slowly go into gameplay, ticked off controller, and there you have your mouse. <laughs> I'm just joking, it's easy. It's, you know. I don't know why they did that, um, but whatever, it's got to be done. All right, now what we want to do is open Proton Tricks right here to see if Skyrim is recognized by it. All right, there you go. 
and now we go into that mo2 folder uh, we did earlier double click that installer and tell it skyrim special edition now here's the thing all right so here i saw a problem and i'm pretty sure a lot of you will too because i saw this problem on my daughter's pc and in my wife's pc and now i'm seeing it on my pc uh the first time i ran it i click yes to installing the script extender and it gave me an error at the end uh but i ran it the second time and i click no on the extender don't worry it will get installed because you actually did it in the first time you click yes uh it's just a bug in there don't worry about it and if it gives you problems you know you can run it multiple times it will get installed eventually it's just a problem with the mo2 installing but once it's, it gets installed there's no more problems after that all right so hit no and then no and then no again select all done okay and leave it on the default hit yes let it do its thing and then yes again now this is going to take a long time so i'm going to skip to where it's done all right, now you hit continue and you're done installing. What's missing is creating the instance. And you do that by double clicking the Skyrim shortcut. All right, and here we are. You click next, global, and Skyrim special edition, Steam. And next, 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 and you know just follow what I'm doing and that's what you want you want that watermark every time you open Skyrim now you're gonna see this watermark that means that it works no do nothing and I'm gonna run it just for you to see that it's actually working I've been thinking about how can I show you that it's actually working. Um, and I think I'm going to install the achievement enabler. You know, I already have all my achievements, but the way to show you is by showing you my checkpoints. And if they don't have an M in front of it, like it does here, if they don't have that M, it's working. These are my old checkpoints. All right, so we're going to install the achievement enabler. Extract them into the same download folder. I'm not going to do it with uh, MO2. Copy these two folders. Go to home. And then, you know, pretty much uh, going inside the Skyrim folder. So Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And where is Skyrim? There we go. And just drop them in there. And yes, right into. And that's it. Now run the game. And it's going to give you that watermark that I talked about. That's how you know that it is working. And these are all my mods. Run it. All right, now we're going to go into the game and create a new game. And if you don't have the achievement enabler or it didn't install properly, it would ask you or tell you that achievements are going to be disabled because I have mods. As you can see, it's telling me, do you want the followers location markers? Yes, that's a mod. I'm going to fast forward to the end to show you my checkpoint. That it doesn't have an M in front of it. But first, you know what? Look at the gameplay. So that you can tell all the mods, you know. It's, I don't like heavily modded Skyrim. Because I do love Skyrim. I just wanted it a bit more modern, you know. The lighting, the, the weather. 
when it's dark, it's really dark, and, you know, more trees, more, you know what I mean? I don't really like to heavily mod uh, Skyrim, because I, I love Skyrim too much. All right, I'm going to fast forward now. I'm going to put it in normal speed now so that you can clearly see the kinds of mods I, I go with. Uh, they're not very drastic because if if it's heavily modded, uh, it's not Skyrim anymore. It's a different game and I don't like to lose the feel of the original Skyrim too much. I just make the NPCs better looking, like the ladies have mini skirts and the lighting is better. You can see more from afar. It renders everything from very far distances, you know. All right, I'm going to move forward again. And here's where I'm going to create my character. I'm just going to, whatever, it's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm going to delete these checkpoints anyway. Here I'm going to press F5, do a quick save, and I should have only two checkpoints after the name and, and this checkpoint uh, that I'm going to create right now. Here it goes. There you go. No M's in front of it. It's working. All right. So enjoy it. Heavily mod your Skyrim with uh, SteamOS and have fun. See you later.